If you were in class uh, on Monday, Monday, what's this, the 5th of November, we did a uh, little demo that talked about which one feels more force, a bullet or a gun. And we kind of led into today's lecture, which is on Newton's third law. And the, uh, the key vocab is going to be weight, action, reaction, equilibrium, mass, and the normal force. So this is Newton's third law. It should be on page 31 in your notes. And the definition is for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. So this is a vocab word. And the key words are, for every action force, there is an equal and opposite reaction force. The way we say this mathematically is a formula that we won't really use. You can kind of do it in your head. Force of A on object B is equal to the negative, and this just means opposite direction, of force object B on object A. And this is the uh, example that we watched in class. Let's see if we can see it really quick. All right, here we go. Careful. So the question was, uh, what feels more force, the gun or the bullet? And the answer is, it's the same, and let's talk about why. Uh, first thing we do is we look at these action-reaction pairs. And so I want you to um, write these quick and draw these quick little pictures, but I want you to add the reaction force and reaction pair. So here's the action object A on object B, and then you just switch it, F, B on A, is equal to the sandwich push up on T. So finish these really quick, pause the video, draw a quick little pictures, nothing too detailed. Legs push back on planet, planet push forward on legs. So when you're running, you're being accelerated forward, but a very tiny bit, you're also moving the planet backwards. It's just that the planet has such a bigger mass that you barely feel it, because the force is equal. If you push down on chair and you're in equilibrium, the chair pushes up on you. We've talked about this before. All right, normal examples. This is kind of like example number one. Uh, copy this down and then maybe do a little stick figure picture. and uh, try to solve it. Here comes the answer. If it's 20 newtons to the left, that means that the rock is pushing back on the student with 20 newtons to the right. Equal and opposite. Because if the, if the rock didn't do this, forces would be unbalanced and the kid would be rolling the rock forward, but that's not happening. Next example. This is another weight example, another type of thing you'll see. So copy this example down. This is almost the last thing. So here's the answer. If you're holding a 15 kilogram mass in equilibrium, what force, what amount, does the hand push up on the weight? So we have an action and we have a reaction. If we know this one, and we know it's equilibrium, and we know this one. So this is, again, it's kind of like a mix of what we've done already. I know this is force gravity, or weight, which equals m times g, 15 times the acceleration due to gravity, 15 times 9.8, equals 147 newtons. And if it's in equilibrium, then this one must also be pushing up with 147 newtons because 
every action, there's an equal but opposite direction reaction. Okay, this is your assignment. I would like you to create and label your own action-reaction pairs. It needs to include a picture, a description of the action and the reaction, magnitude, and direction. So we have the magnitude and the direction. Magnitude and direction. Holy moly, creeping out. So action, fist hits wall with 10 newtons left. Oops, undo that. Reaction, wall hits fist, 10 newtons to the right. So you need to create your own with separate colors and you get extra snaps if they have to do with zombies. Uh, ninjas, swords, Chuck Norris, and anything else awesome. If you have these things in your action-reaction pairs, you get a super bonus. All right, good job.